Hi this is Gary with MacMost.com. In this video let me show you how to create custom folder icons for your Mac using Acorn. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than 500 supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about it. Join us and get exclusive content. So in a previous video I showed you how to create a custom folder icon using just the apps you had on your Mac. Mostly using Preview. So let's review the basics here but this time we're going to use Acorn to create a custom icon. So here I have a folder that doesn't have a custom icon yet. I'm going to create one. I'm going to select it and do Command I to get info. Select the folder here and do Command C to copy. So now I'm going to go into Acorn. I've got Acorn running already. So now I've brought it to the front. I'm going to do File and then New or I can do New from Clipboard. So let's use that. So now it brings that folder that I copied in here. You can see it's a 1024 by 1024 canvas and it's definitely semi-transparent as you can see the background. If I was going to start from scratch I would do File New and I would make sure Width and Height are 1024 and I would make sure Background Color is set to Transparent. Now that I've got this folder here the one thing I couldn't do in Preview was to change the color of the folder to anything I wanted. I could adjust it so I could you know, change it to something that was vaguely purple or green or tan. But I want to really change it to an exact color here. Now there are many ways to change the color of this folder. If you look under Filter there are a whole bunch of different filters that can be used. Under Color Adjustment and Color Effect any of these will change the color in a variety of ways. A simple way is to just go to Color Adjustment Hue Adjust. And then you can see here in the bottom right I've got Hue Adjustment and it's just asking for an angle. So something between 0 and 360. Or I can move this little control here and if I go all the way around the wheel I get pretty much every color in the rainbow. So if I want to make it a red folder I can. Another one you could use is under Color Effect Color Monochrome. And then you could select a color here. So I can click there and I can go use the color wheel or any of the color chooser tools to select something. So I can select a very deep red there and you can see it changes it to red. I can also change the intensity to go all the way back from that blue all the way forward to that red. And once I've got the color changed I can do a variety of things to add symbols to this folder. So I can certainly do the same thing we did in Preview. Select text here. Click there to add some text and I could add you know, a character there. Uh, select All. I can set its size to something much larger uh, and then move it around. So now I can get a letter there. I can go into it and do Control Command Space and then choose something like an emoji and put an emoji like that instead. I could also use a variety of drawing tools or something like one of the shape tools inside of Acorn to add a shape to it, uh, set its color to something, set a border, whatever I want. Now if I want to select everything here I have to go to Edit and use Copy Merged. That will copy all of the different layers. So the folder layer and the shape layer. Then I can hide Acorn here. Select the icon in the Get Info window and do Command V to paste in and we will paste the merged image there. So that's how you can create an icon in Acorn. You don't have to start with the folder background. I could have started with a blank document and drawn what I want in there or brought in another image and edited it. When you use an image editing app like Acorn really the sky's the limit on what you can create as an icon. Now in the previous video I talked about the problems with icons, uh, some of the bugs. So be sure to go to that video to learn a little bit more about that and also how to set the icon for your drive here as well. I publish new tutorials every weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out. Then hit the little bell icon to get notifications for each new tutorial.